and putting in a heating system are, are fairly everyday operational expenses associated with managing a facility and that's the reason it wasn't supported. Thank you. So I will just speak as briefly as I can. I will be voting for this because obviously I don't want to deny you know, anybody the, these vital grant these vital community grant funds, um, but I have raised, and I'll raise again, the urgent need for us to rectify the situation where the grant total is currently at $40,000 for the financial year. It used to be $60,000 and it needs to return to $60,000 because we're oversubscribed and there are terrific community organisations who are missing out on funds simply because it's such a competitive process now. But it doesn't need to be a competitive process. That is a choice that the, the council is making to withdraw funds from community organisations that would greatly benefit from their capacity. Every dollar that they don't have to spend on safety matting for the athletes there, they could be spending doing something else. Um, for every dollar that we give to the Bruny Island Environment Network for the assistance with the Bird Festival, instead we're just giving them all hire but they asked for $3,000 and that would greatly increase their capacity to do great work that pays community dividends. So right now, you know, the Baronia Girl Guides, that's another example where this needs serious reassessment, our criteria. A good idea is a good idea regardless of how much money the organisation has in their bank account. And right now we're denying some of these wonderful community organisations funds simply because they can't afford the matched funding criteria. Well, there's an example of where the criteria needs to change because we, the council, are a service delivery organisation and we need to be providing capacity building for these amazing community organisations. They're run by volunteers who go over and above the beyond the call of duty and we should be encouraging them as best we can with adequate resourcing. Um, something else, I mean, the, the example of it's operational in nature so we don't fund it. Well, the, let me read out the Kingborough Community Missions Project was a short-term food relief for disadvantaged people in Kingborough and they didn't get any money. That's an incredible project that absolutely deserves funding. And just because it's operational in nature does not mean that we should be denying them that funding. The South East Tasmanian Aboriginal Corporation um, wanted assistance with their Healing Country Festival on Bruny Island. And we've given them money this time saying that it's on the, un on, on the proviso, on the understanding that it's once off support because we don't support operational things. Well, if it's a good idea, it's a good idea. And if it benefits the community, that's exactly what the community grants should be for. So. We need to immediately, as a council, rectify this situation, increase the community grants to 60,000, increase the amount that, of the quantum that people can apply for, the minimum and maximums, and reduce the red tape when people apply so that if you've already got a relationship with the council and we know that they're an established community organisation that does great work, you should have an easier pathway to getting grants. Um, right now, the criteria are too strict. They are not sufficient, the amount of money that we're providing. And as a result, we've got this highly competitive grant round, which leaves some community organisations who are doing good work out in the cold. Um, we absolutely must do better than that. And um, before I finish, I'd just like to say thank you to all these community organisations for the work they do and the people who put in so many hours to make our community a great place to live. I have the utmost admiration for them all. Thank you.